Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144 Cam Hydra Man. Okay guys, not giving you any medical advice, not making any medical claims. I just want to show you guys something to explain the inhalation from the Hydrofix because people have had questions about this. Some people say, I don't feel anything coming out from my nose or from the nose tip of this cannula right here. So let me explain to you what's going on because there's different ways of making hydrogen. And what I want people to understand is... When you're breathing the air that you're breathing, do you feel it, you know, going into your nose? Do you feel some type of air being compressed and pushed into your nose? No. You're breathing in a particular concentration of different types of gases. So, for example, in our atmospheric pressure, typically there's roughly 20% oxygen. So, if you were to go to high altitude, for example, or somewhere where there's a different concentration, you're not going to really notice a difference. You're just breathing the air. So, basically, there's different concentrations of different types of gases, for example, in the air, and you're not gonna feel it. So what happens with the hydrofix, they don't use a pump. They don't use forced gas. There's a, there's a lot of machines that do that, and people think that they're getting a specific type of gas. That's why the bubble tests are never a good test when you stick a tube in water, because you can create bubbles simply by blowing into a straw and putting it into water, and you don't know what those bubbles actually are or the concentration of what specific type of gas in this particular case with the hydrofix and these are obviously lab tested they're certified you know they're the only company in the world that does that it's a and they do it for good reason so what happens here is you're what's going to be flowing through the cannula is a concentration of specifically molecular hydrogen gas. So no, you won't really feel it. It's just a concentration of gas that's flowing through here. So even though you're not really feeling a gas being forced into your nose, it doesn't mean that you're not actually getting more hydrogen gas because clearly you are. I've shown other videos, whether it's lab tests or even how that gas affects the body in some thermal imaging videos from an actual medical center in Japan. And so, yeah, just hopefully that answers everybody's questions who's asked about that. Thanks for watching the channel, supporting it, and giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.